We often talk about water lines in terms of their hydraulic performance, but a pipeline is also a structure that comprises of a trench, some backfill, and the pipeline itself. And like any other structure, it can fail. This means that there are some structural standards each pipeline needs to meet to prevent structural failure. The first type of failure we will consider is due to the internal pressure of the fluid exceeding the material strength of the pipe. The second type of failure is due to over deflection of the pipe wall. The weight of the soil above or the live load from the traffic above can cause the pipe cross section to compress and fail along the section of the pipe that is experiencing additional tension or compression forces. Finally, we will look at the buckling failure. When installed in a trench, the weight of the backfill compresses the pipeline. The backfill around the sides of the trench then push back against this vertical force through a horizontal reaction. The result is that a pipeline may deform in such a way as to buckle outward, or as shown here, inward, and cause the pipe wall to fail. These failures can occur with any flexible pipe material. However, it is with steel piping that these calculations become most common. The American Water Works Association Manual of Practice 11 provides the guidance for designing steel pipelines and will be referenced in the following presentations.